Hello everyone, Salty Hyena here. Welcome to another bot build showcase. Today we're gonna check out one of my absolute favorite builds in the game currently. It is, of course, the Mighty Might. So called because this baby can take an insane amount of punishment. It is a light bot, but it has more. Uh, hit points than a light ravager. It achieves this by rocking three heavy AFPS armors, giving it a 60% AP resistance. That's effectively 15,000 hit points, people. 15,000 hit points against APFS. That's insane. It has 6,000 hit points in its tower and that's by itself better than a light ravager. Its speed is also really good even though I'm rocking only T2 accelerators and haven't even T3'd all my armors. 85 kilometers an hour it's pretty good. This guy has T1 stealth currently because I'm in the process of changing it up and I ran out of money. It runs EMP projectors on its Fulgur and three reinforced ammunition and a single automation on its Manglers. So even if it has an insane amount of hit points, it can't take sustained fire. No bot build in this game can, so like the light might, it needs to rely on stealth. It has to stay in cover most of the time and has to sneak up on its opponents. And that's why I've chosen the weapon loadout it has. Three reinforced ammunition and a single automation allows it to basically empty its clip during a single jump or a short peek around the corner. Of course, it doesn't have the roll damage potential of some other a uh, Mangler builds, but the longevity of this bot, like if, if you pilot it properly, you can play it for a whole round and you might still even be in the green when the game's over. And as such, I find or I've found that the best thing for it is to be able to unload its clip in a really, really short time. Because this allows it to break cover. Oh, messed up the jump there. Uh, a short unload time allows it to uh, just uh, break out the cover and uh, unload the whole uh, clip in no time at all and thus you expose yourself to enemy fire a lot less than if you'd have, say, four magazines on your manglers. Oh, and there goes one of my legs. That's unfortunate. But this is the Mighty Might. The Mighty Might it can take so much punishment and it's as I've said several times several times already, it's tougher than a ravager. Let that sink in for a bit. This guy is tougher than a ravager. The way I'm currently playing really reflects how you should pilot this build. You should hug the cover all the time really just exploit the fact that it's a really small bot. Then with my weapon lo loadout I basically uh, I can basically empty my clip in a single jump. As you've seen uh, I've played this bot for like what uh, three four minutes now and I've been pretty much in the thick of it and even though my chest and leg is red I'm going up against AI Hammer MAOs here, man.
I'm gonna do another on another video about the light might, which is I have to say I prefer it over the heavy might simply because I firmly believe that speed is life and uh, to a certain extent I find that the fast and squishy builds are more fun to pilot than the not so fast and not so squishy builds. As you can see, um, I did like 2k damage there in a single jump. So you, you'll do between 1500 and 3000 damage while exposing yourself for a second or two. two. And that's pretty darn good. It means that you'll be really hard to, to target and really hard to hit. And when they do hit you, you can take so much punishment. This guy, he is a real spanner in the gearbox. For the rats. Takes some skill to get used to. And you of course need to pilot him well for it to be effective, but that true for almost any build and yeah and this build uh, wasn't my invention it was from my teammate Chamo he um, took one look at the statistics and said hmm the heavy might must be good he took some convincing for me to believe him uh, but he was very very much correct I hope this short video has demonstrated for you the potential of this build and hopefully you've gotten a few ideas, some inspiration for your own builds. Um, this video is nearing, nearing its end. As always, it's been a pleasure having you here. Um, you might consider liking and subscribing to my channel if you if you actually like this kind of content, I'm producing a new vid every workday. Thanks for watching. See you next time.